Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It is Wednesday today. I didn't do a video for you yesterday. I did list a bag, so there will be two bags in today's video. Yeah, yesterday kind of got away from me. Um, Pius was done work early, and he had uh, some stuff to do um, for work, so we we headed out, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So Monday's bag was, um, I thought, you know what? I haven't listed a roots bag lately. And I do have a little bit of a kind of pile of roots bags, which I think if I have one brand that I'm a little hoardish about, it's roots. Probably only because they are getting so hard to find. And um, with that in mind, I'm actually now kind of looking a lot on Marketplace for bags, which I have picked up a couple. So there are some great roots uh, stuff to come. But yesterday's bag was this little cutie. So the small uh, kind of poochette shoulder uh, bags like Y2K, Mean Girls, um, what's her face? Oh, I can't remember her name. Who was the Mean Girls actress? Poor girls had a bit of a rough life. Anyway, I see her, uh, face when I think about those type of bags. And the last art crawl that I did, um, you get to a certain time in the evening and then it's all just young people. It's kids. You know, most of the people who are there to maybe pick up an item have gone home. It's, you know, 9, 38, 9, 9, 30-ish. And then it's all just young people. And all the young girls had these little tiny shoulder, um, uh, like, poochette bags. So... This is very much in keeping with that size. You can shorten the strap if you wanted to make it really short. This would be my choice, but you can shorten it so that it, you know, tucks right under your arm. This is a very unique strap style for roots. I've never seen this before with these little circular, obviously does not mean it doesn't exist, but in all my travels over the years, I've not come across this before. This color is a really kind of burnt orange. These little, these little compartments are just decorative. There is no pocket associated with it at all. Love the tassel. Just love, love, love it. Inside, there is a zipper. This is a compartment. And then inside it is just, you know, just simple. Obviously no foam pouch. I've listed it as a 90s bag. The 80s bags have the uh, white and black cloth um, tag and are usually black interior. So I've listed this as a 90s bag. It is a beautiful bag. There's your root stamp on the bottom. Now, there is a little mark on the bag. You can barely see it. It's right there. But you know me. I tell you everything. So that is Monday's bag. Beautiful, beautiful little roots short shoulder bag. And these do have a tendency to curl. I, I iron them. Now, obviously, I put them between a tea towel or something like that, but I iron them and they they do flatten out nicely. So or just maybe put a clamp on it when you're storing it, obviously put something between the clamp and the leather. Otherwise, you'll get that god awful uh, shape that Value Village, unfortunately, leaves on a lot of better quality bags because the leather is so soft. So that is Monday's bag. Now, today's bag. Um, Aldo is absolutely not a brand I have anything to do with these days because it's all plastic. It's all vinyl, man-made materials. But back in the day, Aldo was... The trend was the, sh the house brand for Calderon. We talk about this all the time. 
Aldo, I do remember, was the house brand for Le Chateau. And I'm not, and then Aldo kind of came into its own. Um, not a hundred percent on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it went back in the 80s. I was an Aldo customer because I couldn't afford Calderon. Calderon and Aldo were kind of, um, you know, big sister, little sister, and Aldo actually ended up buying out Calderon, and that ended the quality leather chapter of that kind of house of of stores. Um, but back in the day, the Aldo leather was magnificent. And this bag is just fantastic. It is nothing aesthetically special. It is a very classic black shape, but the leather is fabulous. It is um, Aldo Collection. It has a beautiful suede interior. It is so soft. And then your interior, and then there's that very classic Aldo vintage label inside. It doesn't tell you where it's... Oh, it does, actually. Made in Canada. So, Aldo is out of Montreal, just as uh, the trend is. Like I said, they're kind of parent companies, Love how the strap starts wider and goes uh, narrower. Now, I have put another hole in it, um, maybe a centimeter or two uh, too low, just because this little tab does fit in under here, but it, it fits in just. So I just wanted to try and make it as long as possible. So it's a great shoulder bag, a very high sitting crossbody bag, but hey, it's not ridiculous. And again, I am a bit of a bigger lady, so that would sit quite nicely. But I I love these Aldo bags. It is a very, very on-trend shape. A lot of the uh, Kate Spades, a lot of... Um, a lot of the new coach. Now, the new coach in this shape is a puffer bag. They have this kind of puffy, but I don't care. This is just a classic, classic vintage bag. Love it. Just love, love, love it. Zipper pocket on the back. Inside, you do have one zipper compartment. Obviously, no... Um, foam pouches. I've dated this as an 80s uh, bag. Definitely was the label I was purchasing in the 80s when I was buying from Aldo. So there we go. So that is two bags for you for today, Monday's listing and today's listing. So we had a busy day yesterday. Um, Pius had a slip and fall in, oh my God, look at my hair. Pius had a slip and fall in February, I think, and he hurt his shoulder, and then he actually um, tripped again recently and hurt the same shoulder. So we had, uh, had to go to the doctors and get a little bit of, uh, you know, um, documentation for this fall. And we, I was coming home from my mom's. I went to my mom's yesterday and surprised her. My aunt had her has her sisters here from Scotland and my mom was hosting a lunch for them so I thought hmm, I'm gonna go and uh, visit and I had a bag to deliver to my good friend Lynn who lives in St. Catherine so I had a, a quick catch up with her and uh, went and visited my mom and had a great a uh, couple of hours my sister showed up and my sister was standing on the deck when she first got there and I noticed she had a little little black mark on her scalp. And my sister works with horses. So I thought, oh, she's gotten bitten by a horse fly or something. Because they can leave a very big kind of blood uh, clot when they, you know, they don't just bite. They take a chunk out of you. So I said to her, I said, Julie, I think you've been bitten on your head or something. So she touched it. It was a tick. 
eh! it was a tick in her scalp and she she obviously had been there since the day before it came out quite easy so it hadn't made like it hadn't burrowed in or anything but i guess when she's working out in at the farm she get she has to get them all the time and she said that when she comes home she'll just kind of stand like this and she, she, they'll see them and i'm like I am not a princess in any way. I've got mice and rats and, you know, maybe not now, but I did have in the past in this place and it didn't really freak me out, but I don't know. She says she has a, a student working with her and this student is not coping very well. And as she said, she said, if you're going to do this, you just got to get over it. And maybe I would if I was doing it, but ugh. so anyway that was yesterday's excitement and then when I came home I was on my way home and it was so hot here leather bag lady weather report yesterday we were on the bike and the bike was recording 31 and a half degrees and that wasn't even a humidex now with all my sun issues lately I thought oh, we really and I mean we were traveling an hour away and I thought, we really need to take the truck. And then I thought, you know what? No, I'm. we're not taking the truck. This is an absolutely gorgeous day. Pius is home early. We are taking the bike. So I came home. Pius was already here. And I said, uh, you want to take the bike? And he just looked at me. He's like, are you okay to take the bike? I said, give me a long sleeve shirt. I will lather my face with sunscreen. And it worked out. It was so hot on that bike. So hot. At one point, I was like, I can't believe how hot it is on this bike. It was never this hot last year. And then I'm like, listen, dumbass, you're having a hot flash. So Pius said, put your arms out. And he grabbed the sleeve of my shirt and all the air went in. And I was like, holy shit. So when we went to his doctor, um, she kind of, I had a hot flash while I was in there with her and um, Pius said, what can she do for these hot flashes? So she rhymed off a bunch of things, one of which is the one I already tried. And I said, no, I had a five pound weight gain within two weeks. I started spotting again. I said, I'm not doing that. So she mentioned another medication, which Pius is actually on. I think it's a blood pressure medication. So, I think I'm maybe going to give my doctor a call and see if I can try that. And hopefully they're getting really ridiculous. And I am so tired of people telling me that my four years is nothing. They are seven years, 10 years. I can't cope with this for 10 years, not even two more years. So as I said, it is getting worse. So I'm thinking, I was hoping maybe it was coming to a peak and it would end, but I don't think so. So we did that. We had an absolute amazing ride. It was a gorgeous night. It was just the two of us. And I love that. Having him all to myself, which is, I know, I know, but hey, get over it. it it's just what we are at this stage. Maybe in 10 years, we might not be this way anymore, but I kind of hope we are. And then we were coming home. And I saw a sign and it said Bramford, five kilometers. And I'm like, oh, are we going to Bramford? And he's like, why do you want to? Because Bramford Valley Village is one of my favorites. And um, don't you go and take all my stuff. But it's one of my favorites. So it was senior day yesterday and um, we went and I got a couple of things. It was pretty cleaned out by then because it was about 7.30 at night. But I did get a couple of items. And um, yeah, finding lots of Derek Alexander right now, which is not necessarily do uh, Etsy material. But um, and they're all they need restaining, which I can do quite easily. Oh, my God. Talking about staining. I spilt red paint all over the floor all over my white leather couch you can't see it my white leather couch I was painting a bag and I was using my Angelus paint and I 
always put the screw cap back on, but this I didn't because I knew I needed um, to kind of work with the paint to get the color mix right. And I, I put the paint pot down and consciously thought about putting the cap on. I'm like, oh, it'll be fine. So then I went to grab the bottle by the cap. It wasn't screwed on tight and it went everywhere. So I tried to scoop up as much as I could because I'm like, I'm not wasting all that paint, but it got, I managed to get it off the couch. It was on my shoes, on my legs, but the floor, as Pi said to me yesterday, last night, he goes, all we need now is the outline of a body. <laughs> and it would look, our, um, uh, what's this stuff called? The flooring we put down. Ply, our pretty pink ply and it's now there's all red splotches on it but there is a rug scheduled to be in that spot one fine day once we uh get rid of some of this stuff that's hanging around and hopefully our community yard sale this saturday will do just that and whatever we don't sell at that yard sale pretty well is going to value village i do believe so anyway that is it for me today um, I'm taking my clients to a movie. We're going to see The Champions, which I'm pretty sure is a true story. And um, and then we're going to look for rims for our van this evening. So um, looking forward to that. We went and got the uh, bill of sale yesterday for the van and we had a look at it and we went and measured the back because we've got our mattress to put in there. So we're excited. We're excited about the gnome home. That's what it's going to be called. <laughs> anyway, everybody, have a great rest of the day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.